Okay, so we are going to start standing on our mat. So you may or may not have seen the announcement that I am um, in honor of Earth Day, I declared this Earth Week and we're going to do an Earth Flow. There's going to be a lot of grounding, a lot of strengthening in there, grounding for the body, grounding for the mind, and hopefully also grounding for the breath. So we're going to come to the mat. I'm standing a little bit wide-legged. The toes are facing forward and even they could be turned in just a little bit. And then slightly bend your knees and sink into the ground here. You can close your eyes, just feel in what it feels like to stand here, knees bent. You can place the right hand on the belly, the left hand on the heart. Rooting deep with the feet into the earth. And with an inhalation, straighten the legs, pushing up from the earth, keeping the connection to the ground, but standing up straight and tall here. The shoulders relax away from the ears and back a little bit. The crown of the head reaches up. Standing here, feeling the belly under the right hand rising and falling as the breath comes in and goes out. Feeling the heart beating under the left hand. Follow your breath. I'm going to share a poem my daughter Gaia wrote for Earth Day. She gave me permission to share this with you tonight. Animals whistling, as calm as the water in a pond, a rainbow of light, beings of beauty building bravery, talking and telling stories of their history, animals. Continue following your breath. Maybe your breaths slows down a little bit, maybe your breath becomes a little bit deeper. And then let your mind travel to some of the places you've visited on this earth. Maybe some of the mountains we've climbed, some of the rivers we've canoed in or swam in, some of the beaches we've enjoyed. Retracing our steps on this earth, what footprint do we leave? Can we maybe show the earth even more kindness and compassion? Feeling back into your feet, into the strength of your legs, traveling all the way up, upper body, the shoulders broaden, the chest broadens a little bit more reaching through the crown of the head. And then flutter the eyes open. And let the hands hang down by the side. We soften the knees. Hands come, palms facing down. As we inhale, we rise up, draw the breath up. Exhale, bending down, sending the breath away. Inhale, scooping up more life energy up to the chest. And exhale, sharing, sending it away. Inhaling, scooping energy in and exhaling, sharing what we have to share. Maybe sinking a little bit deeper each time as we go along here. This time shift the weight into the right leg and as you inhale, just slide the left foot up along the inside of the right leg and then step it back down again. Inhaling, we switch sides. Sliding the right foot up, exhale, back down. One more time, both feet on the ground, rising up and sending it away. 
rising up all the way to standing. And then here we take the elbows out to the side. The palms are facing down. The feet are firmly rooted in the earth. And we just begin to twist from side to side. Connecting to the wisdom of your body. What does your body want to do? Does your body want to go fast? Does your body want to go slower? And spin the palms facing up here. Continuing that movement from side to side, unwinding a little bit, body and mind. And let the hands, the arms hang down the side, alongside the body. Finding stillness once more. We interlace the hands, the palms are facing down. We drop into the knees. As we inhale, we turn over the left side, rising up all the way, reaching the palms up to the ceiling. Exhaling down to the center, then inhaling over to the other side. Stretch as long as you can here. Exhaling one more time each side. Inhaling up to the left, strong through the feet, but firmly rooted. And up on the right. Coming back down to the center, rising up all the way to the center palms, reaching up. And then on the exhale, bend over to the right. Inhale, reaching up center. Exhale, bend over to the left. Inhale, reach up center. On the exhale, draw the hands down, palms facing inward, tucking the belly and tucking the chin in. Soften the knees, inhale, scooping up. Exhale, rounding, bending the knees, inhale, scooping up, and exhale, rounding in here. Keeping the knees bent and keep the legs wide, maybe you step them in just a tad closer, but keep them fairly wide. The back is straight, turn around so you can see me from the side. As we inhale, we reach the arms up, palms facing down towards the ground. Exhale, bring the arms down and back, shoulder blades slide together on your back. Inhale, rising. And exhale, lowering the arms and bring them back. Staying here for a moment, reaching the shoulder blades together. Maybe lifting the toes off the mat. And coming into the weight, into the heels here. And feeling the legs waking up, maybe they're starting to tingle a little bit and say, hello, we're here, we're holding you. And then we reach the arms forward, reaching as long as we can and sending the tailbone back at the same time. And move the arms out to the side wide, spread the fingers wide. How much can you expand? How much expansion can you find out to the side? Move them back. And keep moving them to the side, the front, side and back. And we're being, and we're swimming through a lake in big, big strokes, maybe through a river or even an ocean. And your breath is matching the movement. And then holding the arms up straight here a little bit, close the eyes for a moment, relax the shoulders, reach a little bit more through the fingers. And rising up all the way to standing, hands to the heart. And we step the feet out wide a little bit more, toes facing out. And hands come down to the center and then we just sink into the knees and just take a moment, take a little bit of a dance here from side to side, yeah, dancing in here. Now we're just bouncing up and down a little bit, just firmly reassuring our grounding and we find the stillness. And bring the hands to the heart and just lift the legs a little bit, but here energetically we're drawing the heels and the inside of the legs towards each other. And your buttocks are engaged, the core is engaged. There's a lot of energy in these legs. 
On the next inhale, we drop deeper, open the knees out, open the arms out, sending the heart up. Just staying here for a moment, maybe bringing the gaze forward, spreading the fingers wide. Inhaling, exhale, hands to the heart, draw the belly button in, curl the chin in. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, draw everything in. Inhale, sinking a little deeper, opening up here. And exhale, closing in. Maybe like a little flower that's opening up in the sun rays in the morning and closing in at night. One more here, opening. And closing. Close the eyes for a moment. Hold a little bit longer, relax the jaw, feeling maybe the burning in the legs. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up tall here. Spread the fingers as wide as you can. Exhale, hands to the heart. And step the feet together. Inhale, we reach the arms overhead. Exhale, draw the hands down the midline, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, and then come back down onto hands and knees. We're gonna be in table here. We're gonna be here for a while. So if you like, I always like to use some padding for my knees. Gonna be on hands and knees, setting up hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips, rocking from side to side. And then the tops of the feet are pressing in the mat. And then here, we turn the hands, fingers facing outward. We're just focusing on the upper back, the shoulder blades. As we inhale, we draw the shoulder blades together on our back. And as we exhale, we slide them out to the sides, rounding the upper back. And keep doing that in and out here a little bit. Getting these shoulders activated and awake. You can stay here or you can step the legs back and continue doing this sliding of the shoulder blades in high plank. And just again, listen to your body's wisdom. Finding the grounding through the hands and the toes and the earth. And bring the knees back down. Bring the tops of the feet onto the mat. Hands down. As we inhale, send the tailbone back, send the chest forward. Exhale, press the earth away, curl the belly button in, curl the chin in. Inhale, arching, and exhale, rounding. And then here, your choice, you can press into the tops of the feet, lift the knees off the mat here. Keep going here a few more times. The knees can only lift a little bit or all the way. One more time, inhaling, arching, and exhaling, rounding. Lowering back down to table. I just turn around to the front so you can see me, what I'm doing here. On the next inhale, we lengthen the right leg behind us for this flex toes pointing towards the floor. Inhale, we draw the right knee to the right shoulder. And on the exhale, wrap it around over to the left side. Inhaling one more time, right knee to right shoulder. Exhale, wrapping it around. Yeah, opening the hip joint here a little bit. Next time we are open and wrapped around, we stay here. And then lift the right hand off the mat. Step the right foot down behind, lengthen the left leg out and just come into an easy flip here. Nothing fancy. And coming back around. Lifting the right leg one more time behind, and then on the exhale, bring it around to the side, toes facing forward. Walk back up on your fingertips, rising up, reaching the arms out long. Flip the palms so they're facing forward, spread the fingers wide. Inhale, on the exhale, bend over to the right. Inhaling back to center, and then on the exhale, the right left hand comes to the floor. The right arm reaches and 
the right foot reaches long. Stay here for a moment, checking in with the grounding. And then how far can you expand through the lifted arm and the heel and the toes? Inhale, come back up. Exhale one more time, leaning over to the right. Inhaling to center. And exhaling once more. Finding the lift in the leg, you can stay here or find the bind. Reaching for the foot. Pressing the foot into the hand, hand into the foot, drawing that right shoulder open to the ceiling. And inhale, letting go of the bind. And setting the foot back down and bringing it around to the outside of your hands. Right foot is in the front, left knees on the floor. Sink the hips back to the heel. And on the inhale, leaning forward, shining the heart forward, tuck the back toes under and lift that back knee off the mat. Inhale, curl the heart forward. On the exhale, lift the hips a little bit, tuck the belly button in, tuck the chin in. So we're curling out here, inhaling and exhaling, we're curling in. And like a little fern plant that begins to curl out in the springtime. And how we stay here. Lower the knee, the back knee back down, and then here toe that right foot towards the center of the mat, toe facing out to the side. Come onto your left hand. Your right hand comes onto your right hip, lift that back knee, and then settle down onto the left hip. So the left leg is stronger on the outer edge of that left foot. Reach the right arm back. Inhale, lift the hips and reach the arm out and over. Exhale, keep the hips lifted, but just lower them a little bit. Going back and forth here, lifting the hips, drawing the arm overhead and sending it back. One more time here. And sending it back. We come back around to the front, finding hands and knees on the ground. One more time, I turn to the front so you can see me. This time on the inhale, the left leg lifts to the back. The foot is flexed. Inhale, draw the left knee to the left shoulder. Exhale, wrap it around to the other side. Inhale to the shoulder and open. One more time. Drawing it in and open and then staying open and here one more time, the left hand peels off, left foot steps back behind, you can straighten that right leg, just find an easy flip, reaching the left arm long, coming back around, lifting the left leg behind, bring it over to the side and place the foot down, toes facing forward. Walk the hands back, rising up, spreading the fingers wide. The left arm lowers to the left leg, inhale, leaning over to the left, back to the center. Inhale here, exhale right hand to the floor, and then the reach, pressing through that left heel and reaching at the same time with these left fingertips. Inhaling back up to the center. One more time, exhaling over to the left. Reach long with that top arm. Breathe into the side body here. Inhaling center, exhaling. Lifting the leg and then staying here or finding the bind on this side. Join that left shoulder up and open. Letting go of the bind, sending the leg long, sending the arm long. And bringing the hand down and bring that left foot to the outside of the hands. Right knee is down. Send the hips back to the heel. Peel the left toes off the mat. Inhale, come forward, curl the heart forward. Tuck the back toes on the lift, the back leg. Inhale. Curl the heart open, 
And exhale, slightly lift the hips, curl everything in. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl in. And one more time, staying open here, lowering the right knee back down and then heel toeing that left foot to the center. Coming onto the right hand, sending the right leg straight, coming down on the right hip, reach the left arm back. Inhale, reach the left arm overhead, lift the hips. And then exhale, lowering the hips, but hovering. Inhale, reach. And exhale. And going back and forth here a few times. One more time. One more time, sending it back. Then bringing the arms back around and we're on hands and knees. I move my blanket out of the way. Tucking the toes under, getting ready to lift up into our first downward facing dog, inhaling and on the exhale, press the earth away, lift the hips up to the thigh. You can walk your dog here a little bit and then find stillness. Spread the fingers wide, draw the shoulders down alongside the back. Inhale, lift the right leg high. And on the exhale, step it through between the hands. Bring the hands to the inside of the right foot and then turn around to the front. Once more, finding a white legged stand here, toes facing out. Rising up, knees bent, hands to the heart. And then from here on an inhale, left arm slides to the front, we turn over to the right, reaching up into a high crescent lunge here. Find a moment, find your grounding here, your front foot, the back heel pushes to the floor. Inhale, reaching a little higher with the arms. Then on the exhale, draw the hands to the heart. Curl the chin to the chest and tuck the belly button in. Inhale, we open the arms out to the side, sending the gaze up. And then exhale, draw everything back in. Your favorite majestic bird opening the wings up here. And drawing it in. Opening up and drawing it in. Then we come through the center one more time, rocking from side to side a little bit, finding stillness. Then the right arm comes down, reaches over and we turn to the left side, high crescent lunge here. Taking a moment to sink in, relax the shoulders away from the ears, but strong through the legs. Inhale, send the gaze up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Curling the belly button in, curling the chin in. And then exhale, spreading the arms wide here. And then the breath guides you the way. And you go in slow motion here, spreading your wings. And one more time, curling the heart in. And we turn back to the center. Once more, knees wide. And then we place the right forearm on the right thigh. The left arm as we inhale comes over, circles up. And back to the left, and we switch side, left forearm on the left thigh, circling the right arm up and around. Just switching, going from side to side here. The breath flows nice and evenly. One more time on this side. Hands to the heart. And then from here we turn back to the left. High crescent lunge. This time the fingertips come to the back of the head. Just press the back of your head into your fingertips. You're opening the elbows wide. Inhale. Exhale, draw the elbows together, curl the chin in. 
One more time, inhale, open wide. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to the inside of that left foot. Spin the right heel down to the floor. The left knee is bent, and then you walk your hands diagonally away from you, leaning the hips back here, letting the head drop. Ground strongly through the feet, pressing the outer edge of the right foot into the mat here. Walk the fingertips back, come through the center, and rising up over on the right to high crescent lunge here. Fingertips on the back of the head, leaning the head into the hands, spreading the elbows wide, inhaling, exhale, curling in. Inhale, spread wide and open. Exhale, hands come down to the inside of the right foot. Left heel spins down, bends into the right knee, and then walk the fingertips diagonally out and away. Hips lean in the opposite direction. Just let the head hang here. Shaking it yes and shaking it no. Now from here, we simply bring the hands around to frame the right foot. We step the right foot back into high plank and we lower halfway down into a chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog, opening the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more times, or take a break in child's pose, whatever you feel like doing here. Going at your own pace. If you're still in vinyasa, one more round. Lowering halfway, inhaling, upward facing dog, and exhaling, downward facing dog. And then staying a moment here, downward facing dog, closing your eyes, letting your breath slow down. Oops, let the eyes open again. And here we bring the thumbs together. The fingers are spread wide on the mat, the hands are firmly planted, but the thumbs are almost touching. Inhale, lift the left leg. And then here, bend the knee, but keep the hip parallel to the floor. Look at your thumbs and then draw the ball of the foot towards the front of the mat as you inhale. Exhale, curl in, knee the nose. One more time. Inhale, lifting. Also bend knee, exhale, knee the nose. And one more time, lifting. And then here you can stay here, but you can decide to flip, bringing the left foot down behind, coming onto the outer edge of that right leg, just reaching the left arm long, maybe bringing it to the back of your head, supporting your head here. And we're coming back around. Downward facing dog, inhaling forward to high plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Once more, we bring the thumbs to almost touch in the center of the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg, bend it. Keep the hips square to the mat and draw, look forward and draw that ball of the right foot forward. Inhale, exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, send it up, look forward. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, looking up. Staying here and then flipping, bringing the right leg down behind. Left leg straightens, reaching the right arm back, maybe onto the back of the head here. Come out of that left shoulder, making sure we're not sinking in here. And then coming back around, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, coming forward into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Going through a flow here. And taking your time. Landing in downward facing dog. And take a moment and come back down onto hands and knees. Sinking back into child's pose here for a moment. And bringing the forehead onto the mat. And how we rise back up into downward facing dog. And then lift the right leg and then keep it lifted and begin to walk your hands back to your foot. Ooh, I reached my door here. And now reaching the right leg high, I'm just gonna hop forward a little bit. And on the exhale, bend the standing leg and bring the right knee next to the left, curl in, knee the nose. Inhale, straighten the leg back up. And exhale, curling it in. And keep going here, follow your breath. Curl it in. Inhale, straighten it up here. Walking the hands forward, keeping the leg lifted. And then step it through to the outside of the right foot and the left, the right hand, the left hand. The left hand roots down, the right hand reaches up to the ceiling. Back leg is strong, or you can also lower the knee down here, your choice. And then circle the arm to the back around to the front, drawing big, big, big circles here with your arm. And then keeping that right arm reaching to the sky, bring the hands to the back of the head, draw to that right elbow, that right shoulder open a little bit more. And then bringing the hands back down Framing the front foot, stepping back to high plank, going through vinyasa or skipping your vinyasa. Your choice. Just see what you're up to at six on a Friday night. And then hanging out in your downward facing dog, shaking the head, yes. Or shaking the head, no. And we lift on the inhale, the left leg. And again, begin to walk your hands back towards your foot, finding standing needle here, reaching the left leg up, inhaling, exhale, bending the standing leg, bringing the knee in, knee the nose. Inhale, straightening, and exhale, curling in. And focusing on the strength and the rooting in your standing leg here, and the lightness of your lift. One more time, expanding and curling in. Extending long, walking the hands forward. And then bring the leg to the outside of the hands. Right hand roots down, inhale, left arm reaches high. And on the exhale, draw it back, making big circles up and around here. Again, the back knee can be down on the floor. It's your choice. You can also find stillness and not do the circles. Next time we come up, reaching the arm up and then bringing the hand to the back of the head, drawing the elbow and the shoulder open. Hands back to the floor. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Then lowering the knees down for a moment, sinking back into child's pose. You can keep the toes tucked. Breathing in, forehead to the mat. And breathing out. And inhale, we come forward again and rise back up. One more time. So we inhale, we lift the right leg high. As we exhale, we draw the knee into the nose. One more time, inhale, lifting it high. 
exhaling, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up. And then on the exhale, step it once more to the outside of the hands, left hand loops down one more time. Inhale, reaching the right arm up. Draw the arm back behind you to the side, opening that shoulder a little bit. And exhale, bring the hands to the inside of the right foot. And take a moment to lengthen through that left leg, cracking through the back heel. And then come down onto your elbows. Maybe this is the time where you have blocks nearby or a book where you lower your forearms down onto the floor. You can also stay up here, it being down on your forearms. If not your choice tonight. Now bring some movement here, just rocking front and back. And then out of that movement, expand to the front and to the back and find some stillness. Then we step the right leg back, finding forearm plank here. And then tiny movements. Inhale, curling the heart forward. And exhale up. Inhale forward. Exhale up. And lowering the knees down, uncurling the toes. And reaching through into sphinx pose here. The shoulders relax away from the ears and the chest folds forward between the doorway of the shoulders. You can stay here, rise up onto your hands and to seal. And then lower down all the way. Forehead to the mat and the hands come under the shoulders. And then here on the inhale, we lift the head, we lift the legs, and we lift the hands, a variation of Shalambhasana. Relaxing the jaw, maybe putting a smile on the face. And lowering the forehead to the mat, tucking the toes under, coming back up onto hands, knees, the hips go back, and then up to downward facing dog. And staying here for a moment, reconnecting to the earth. The heels are heavy, shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, knee the nose. One more time, lift. And on the exhale, step the foot to the outside of your hands. Right hand moves down. Inhale, left arm reaches up, and then draw out that arm back behind you here a little bit, opening that shoulder. And bring it back down to the inside of the foot. And you can stay here or lower down onto your forearms. Once more, rocking into this lizard here a little bit. You can also lower the back knee down. It's your choice of lifting or lowering. And then finding some stillness and expanding a little bit more, pushing through the back heel, reaching through the crown of the head. And stepping the left foot back, forearm plank, and then this time we dip the heels to the right and then to the left. And the hips move along as well. Or you can stay in the center. And holding strong here. Once more lowering down, uncurling the toes. And pulling through into Sphinx. And close your eyes here. Breathing in. Exhaling. Staying in Sphinx. Or lifting up onto your hands, maybe walking the hands out a little bit more. To create some space and to seal. And lowering back down all the way. Forehead to the mat. You can rest on one cheek, bring the legs up, bending at the knees, and just tick tocking here from side to side. And straighten the legs back down. Forehead to the mat and bend the 
legs one more time and reach with your hands or your ankles or just stay here and keep the keep the legs bent if you're reaching inhaling lifting your upper body lifting the legs pressing the feet into the hands or pose it's rocking up and down a little bit here with your breath <sighs> sighing out inhaling one more time <sighs> And lower everything back down one more time. This time the other cheek to the mat, lift the knees, lift the legs, bending and tick-tocking from side to side. Lengthening the legs out. Forehead to the mat. And this time the left leg bends and we reach with the left hand for the left ankle. Reach the right arm long. Right arm and right leg reach away from each other and as you inhale lifting everything up off the mat here yeah the super goal pose inhaling exhaling lowering down lengthening the left arm out forehead to the mat just release everything into the ground And then what we do on the left side, we do on the right side as well. So we bend the right leg, we reach for the right ankle. Left arm is long, forehead on the mat. As you inhale, lifting everything up, reaching forward and reaching back simultaneously. And imagine your favorite place on this planet where you want to fly to. We're going to get there in no time like this. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Make a cushion with your hands. Rest the forehead here. One more time. Bending the legs. Tick-tocking them. From side to side. And bring the legs long. Tuck the toes under. Send back the hips to the heels. And then rising up. Downward facing dog. The last one of this evening. Just hanging out here for a moment, breathing, inhaling, and maybe loosening the lips a little bit. Shaking the head one more time, inhale. And then easy lift off the right leg, step it through between the hands. We're just going to move to the front. The legs are straight, finding a white like a forward fold here. Maybe reaching for the outside of your ankles here. Letting the head hang. Breathing in and breathing out. And then come on to the fingertips. Bring the fingertips on the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Then on the exhale, turn the toes slightly out. Sink into the right knee. And this is a little bit where you may want to use a blanket under your right heel. Or you simply come onto your toes, which is sitting down here over on the side. So the hips are still lifted. You can bring the hands to prayer. You can also bring that right elbow to the outside of that right shin and open the arms out wide here. the hands back to the heart and then here we simply find a seat like this now bring that right foot forward a little bit the left hand reaches for the left chin the right hand comes to the low back and we just lean over to the left side here a little bit drawing that right shoulder open you can stay here or reach the right arm overhead reaching Where's my toe? Reaching for the big toe here. Come back up again. And as gracefully as we can, we have the hands behind us. We lift up. 
bring the hands around to the front and then shifting through the center over on the other side. I need to take my blanket with me. My left side is less mobile, lifting, shifting the blanket under the heels. And then once more, peeling the right toes off the mat, hands to the heart. Maybe reaching that left elbow in front of the left chin and opening the arms out wide, looking up or looking down, checking in with your neck. Breathing. And coming back down. Finding a seat here. This time the right hand reaches for the left chin. The left hand comes to the low back. And we lean over to the right side, drawing the left shoulder up to the ceiling. And either staying here or reaching the left arm overhead or the toes, looking under the armpit. Rising back up, finding a seat, the center of the mat stretch, the legs wide through for a moment, sitting up nice and tall, the hands are just resting on the thighs or on the shins, closing the eyes, sending the heart forward. When we bring the knees in, bring the soles of the feet together. Bring the hands to the soles of the feet, and then you decide if you want to bring the heels a little closer to yourself or a little bit further away. Inhale, lift long through your spine, and on the exhale, coming forward, folding over the feet. I'm just staying here for a moment. There's no goal in bringing your head to the feet. No matter where you are, just be in a forward fold and then breathe into the back side of the body, into the back side of the lungs, feeling the expansion on the back, and exhaling, softening the facial muscles, relaxing the jaw. Inhale, coming back up. And then your left hand holds on to your toes. And place your right hand, that right thumb, into that right hip crease. And then lean over to the left side, drawing that right shoulder back, looking up. Pressing the right hip down, feeling a little bit of a stretch here in the right hip. And then switching sides, right hands hold onto the toes and the left thumb comes into the left hip crease. Inhale, reach tall and then on the exhale, lean over to the right side, pressing the left hip down, opening through the left shoulder. And come back up. And then we find a seat. The feet are on the mat. And then reach the arms out long in front of you. Flex the hands and then lift one leg up and lift the other leg up. Finding this variation of both poses here. Lifting tall through the spine. Inhale and on the exhale, send the right leg long, leaning back. Inhale, draw it back in, come up. And then switching sides. Exhale, the left leg goes long. Just keep going here a little bit. Easy. Maybe you also can stay up here. Maybe you don't want to lean back so far down. And then maybe doing it with both legs at the same time, sending them long, hovering down, coming back up. One more time and then holding here for a moment and slowly lower down all the way onto the mat, slide the feet and standing on the mat. 
And then here, cross the right leg over the left. And then lift the feet and wrap, maybe even wrap the right foot all the way around that left leg, finding eagle legs here. Place the left foot back down on the mat. Lift the hips and scoot them over to the right a little bit. Open the arms out wide. And then let your knees fall over to the left side. Finding a variation of twist here. If this variation of twist doesn't work for you, just come to a regular twist that you usually like to do and let me know that serves you and your body well. You can have the gaze straight up to the ceiling or looking over to the right or to the left. Just checking in with your neck. Draw the knees back to center and then unwind, placing both feet flat on the mat, shimmy the hips back into the center, keep the arms open, just stay here for a moment, allowing the spine to reset before we move to the other side. And now cross the left leg over the right, maybe wrapping the foot all the way around, lifting the hips and scooting them a little bit over to the left. And then letting the knees fall over to the right side. Breathing into your twist here. Inhale, drawing everything back to center, uncrossing the legs, and then once more placing both feet flat on the mat. Just staying here for a moment, resetting. And draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a really, really big hug here. Draw, release maybe the forehead, lift up, lowering. The head back down, hands on the knees, rolling, drawing some circles here, massaging the low back. One direction, the other direction. And place the feet back down on the mat. We're just doing some easy flowing bridges here. Imagine your favorite river or maybe a river you've never been to and always wanted to visit. And we're just building the bridge over the river. So the hands are alongside the body, the feet are flat on the ground. As you inhale, lift the hips off the mat and then reach the arms up and overhead and lay them down behind you. And on the exhale, lower the hips down, bring the arms down alongside the body. And just keep going like this, inhaling, lifting the hips, reaching the arms up and overhead. And exhale, lowering. And it's your choice. You can keep going and moving and flowing. And you can also hold your bridge at some point if you want to pause. And you're flowing, we're going one more time. Lowering the hips down, bring the arms down alongside the body, and then we just lift the feet, finding a happy baby here, rolling from side to side, maybe playing with straightening one leg, and bending the other, going from side to side. Just any movement you're craving right now before we lower down into our final resting pose. And when you're ready, lengthen yourself out on your mat. Find anything you need to get yourself comfortable, maybe a blanket, maybe putting a sweater back on, maybe have a cover for the eyes. Just 
just take a moment to set yourself up and be really comfortable down here. And then take a moment and scan your body from head to toes. any place you're holding and you could release a little bit more softening the area around the eyes a little bit of a smile to the outside of the eyes and relax the cheeks the jaws parting the teeth and let the shoulders sink into the mat arms become heavy the hips, the legs, just surrender yourself to the earth, trusting and knowing it is there. And just follow the wave of your breath. And I'll bring you back when it's time to return. Deepen your breath a little bit. And bring gentle movement into your body, fingers, toes, and gentle circles with the wrists and ankles. Maybe stretching the arms all the way overhead, just reaching really long, returning back to the room, to the moment. And then roll over onto your favorite side, cradling your head your elbow for a moment here, taking in the effects of your practice. Animals whistling as calm as the water in a pond, a rainbow of light, beings of beauty, building bravery, talking and telling stories of their history, animals. And then gently come back up to a seat on your mat. You can keep the windows of the eyes closed. And bring the hands together at your heart. And sharing an inhale and exhaling out the mouth. Inhaling to a shared om. Oh. And bring the hands to the third eye center of your forehead. Loka Samasa Sukino Babantu. May all beings be happy and free everywhere. And bring the hands back to your heart. I thank you so so much for sharing this practice with me tonight. 
lovely guiding you. I'm wishing you a wonderful weekend. Thank you all. I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to unmute.